You, more than anyone, yearn to see this city reborn. It was only six months ago that you came here with your family. And I remember how eager you were to change this town for the better. It became your passion in life. But one cannot truly care about a city until they become one of its people, which is why I was so moved when you chose to reside in Ijincho. There is no greater tragedy than the dreams we leave behind in death, and yours were bigger than most ever dared. I know this as your classmate in our youth, as your peer who shared your ambitions. But most of all, simply as a friend, you left too soon. This is truly, truly a great loss. And so, what choice do we have but to face the future without you? We look to Kumekun, the protege to whom you entrusted so much. He has stepped forward to carry on your dream. And is there any greater honor than when, in our passing, someone else picks up the torch where we left it? You and I always believed we could help people find their way together. Which is why, in the coming election, I will throw the entirety of my support behind Kume. I say this not as the Citizens' Liberal Party Chair, but for you, Ogasawara Kum, as your friend who would see your dream come true. I swear to do everything in my power to bring your dream, Frijincho, to fruition. That is the least I can do for you, my old friend. Rest now and smile down on us from heaven. <sighs> What have you done? Uh, Mr. Governor... Can't you tell the difference between thugs and law-abiding citizens? What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We are terribly sorry about this. Do you need medical attention? I never thought I'd see the day when my own guards hurt a citizen. I'm just glad I saw the scuffle in the rearview mirror. Please, let me help you up. Sir. Tonight, go to Orohime Land alone. I'll do the same. It's such a relief that none of you were hurt. Please accept my sincere apologies for all of this. I'd also like to apologize on behalf of my guards. I'll be giving them a strict lecture later. But for now, I must ask that you excuse me. I'm late for an appointment.
Young master. You were born in a dump much like this one, weren't you? What? Young master! How long have you been there? Um... Young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Go, honey. I'm sure he's just drunk. What's wrong with him? Is he sick? Don't look at me! Don't, don't look at me! Get up! You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk! Come on, move your ass! Uh, f fuck off, man. This building is my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! You're Yakuza. That means you're garbage. Fuck you say? Don't touch me! You're a power you turf now, fool! In this town, let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! <laughs> Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls. Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <sighs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <clears throat> Dumbass. Do it if you're gonna. Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed a guy. Ha, ha, ha. 
Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well, then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Did you actually think I'd come here tonight because I wanted to negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the hell is this? I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. Guess I'm kinda old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! Go! <laughs> Guys, why are you here? Just get out of the damn way! What the fuck? Let's go! I told you it was a trap. Listen to me next time. Give me your hand. There. That ought to do it. Let's get going. Isn't that the line? I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Huh. You think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I have always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. Hmm. <laughs> Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. Uh, Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they called the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well, then good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! Don't you worry, fellas. 
I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time. Let's go. It's Goro Majima's comeback tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? <sighs> guys. Don't let him get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. That's enough. Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <sighs> hey, isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss! Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichiban, Ichiban Kasuga, of the Arakawa family, loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima, and his sworn brother Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Looking forward to next time, Ichiban Kasuga. Captain, welcome home, sir. Good 
Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Damn, seeing these Tojo Clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited! We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD! I know, most of you are none too happy about it, so listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo? This kind of brawl? Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Let's make it one to remember! Damn it. This has gone 
far enough. Watch out, there! Shit! What's well, Hosei? <laughs> I knew you weren't really gone. So he's finally back. The Dragon of Dojima. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are. But you sure know how to make an entrance. Seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. <sighs> well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Ichi, are you? It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still... After I sent you to prison in Masato's place... For 18 years... After lying to you that it was for the family... Well... I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine, if you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. a soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart, and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. 
Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's war time. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak. And that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. 
The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. You... killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the e Gene 3. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Ijincho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Hey, Ichiban. Ichiban! it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well, then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? 
What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! <laughs> is Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? So we're zero! Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom, all on her own. I was working at the time, laying asphalt as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. Stop! We took care of it! Let me go! Fuck! What? Damn it! Open, you piece of shit! Open! That's the locker, we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... This is my child. Well... This might work out. I will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift, right? It's for the best, really. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Yeah. 
Damn it! Move! Move! Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamurocho. With my son. Why is that? Huh? The kid. I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age. So he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. words, and I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. <gasps> move! Move! <laughs> Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked! Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. <sighs> He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait. No. If he's still here... That can only mean... The handoff didn't go as planned. Another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... The other man had taken the wrong baby. I answered you. 
I told you! Everything I know! The whole city's been turned into a hellhole! And I'm still punching my way through you useless fucking grunts! What's it gonna fucking take? Ichiba! Ichiba! Shut up! I just... need to talk to him. Masato Arakawa and I need to have some fucking words. He has some shit he needs to answer for. Who the hell? Unfortunately for you, I've always used my fists to get to know someone. Yeah, well, normally I'm the same, but I can't afford that now. You have the info I need. Just share it with me already. Why would I? Because lately, I've just lost a lot of people I care about, and it sucks. I can't trust myself now. If I fight you, I don't know if I could even hold back. Listen, I could end up killing you. Hmm. <laughs> Good. I'll take it. What the fuck? I'm not kidding around, man! If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. <laughs> the treasure you're after is right up there. I'm the dragon guarding it. So defeat me. If you really think you're the hero it belongs to. You're going down! Come at me then! You can do better, Ichiban Kasuga. What? Hello. Well done, Acting Captain. 
I was so impressed when I found out you were planning to disband the Sotenbari Yakuza. I couldn't believe you were willing to brand yourself a traitor to the Tojo clan. For years. <laughs> you must be one hell of an actor. Well, keep in mind, it wouldn't have worked if you hadn't sided with Watase and me. We only did it by the skin of our teeth. One misstep, and they would have called the whole thing off. And we'd be feeding the worms in the HQ garden. I'm just saying, give yourself some credit. No, oh, I was just caught up in the moment, holding on to your coattails. I figured it was my chance. A fight like that comes once in a lifetime. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you truly are fearless. Oh, not really. You think so? Let me ask you, Tendo. What's your plan now? I gotta head right back to Kamarucho and report to Rio Aoki. Will you be okay? Me? Oh yeah, don't worry. What are those fucking traitors whispering about? You want me to take them both out? It'd be easy. <laughs> really? That easy for you? <laughs> yeah. I'll take a two-for-one deal. Is that your official order? Not that I've got misgivings, I'm just making sure, boss. Yeah. Arakawa first. Kill him in one shot. All right. Arakawa as the appetizer. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, he... You shitheads. Ishioda, you always do this. Jump the fucking gun. Makes it easy for me to get two steps ahead of you. <laughs> Hell, I'm amazed you stayed alive up till now. Tendo. Ishioda, there's no Omiyo Dojo anymore. The golden age of the Yakuza is at an end. The Omi Alliance might have seemed unsinkable to you, but it's scuttled now. Time to abandon ship. Shut the hell up, old man. The Omi and Sotin Bori got crushed because they let themselves get split in half. <laughs> it's funny, though. When one door closes, another one always seems to open. Guess I've been lucky like that. And I know opportunity when I see it. As a boxer, I never got my shot at the top. But now it's finally here. Kind of funny, isn't it? Tendo! This piece of shit didn't kill the boss. It wasn't Ishoda. It was Tendo. Where's Tendo now? Looks to me like he failed. <laughs> Ishioda always did do sloppy work. Well, good thing we were watching it go down. Your orders? Go on. <laughs> Give that button a push. Yes, sir. Patience, everyone. We appreciate you sticking around. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next honored guest. You all know him as the beloved governor of Tokyo, but now he's also the party chair of the CLP. 
He's been running around all over the country preparing for the big election tomorrow, but as always, he's made time for Camarocho. Please give a warm welcome to Rio Alki. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please give yourselves a hand for coming out here tonight. Thank you, thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all your passionate support. We couldn't do this without you. Excuse me! Excuse me, good people of Kamrocho! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm running for Kanagawa District 2! People have been talking about me like I died in an explosion in Ichin Show, but I'm just fine. In fact, I feel great, and I couldn't pass up this chance to shake Governor Aoki's hand. Find what you were looking for, Tendo. Oh, you mean a recording of Rio Aoki ordering someone to take out Arakawa? Even if that actually existed, it wouldn't prove shit, and you fucking know it. And yet Aoki just couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. All on the off chance the tape might be real, so he sent your sorry ass. And now your trap is sprung, huh? Sounds like you finally put two and two together. <laughs> there never was any recording at all, was there, you little punk? Sawashiro never would have betrayed him. The captain was loyal to the young master to the end. But Aoki and you are such assholes, I wouldn't expect you to understand loyalty like that. So if there was never a tape, your real goal must have been... <laughs> I see it now. You're here to take a swing at the champ. You must have finally figured out whose fists were the real threat in the ring. You know, back in Sotenbori, we were pretty damn excited when you stepped across the line. If only Arakawa-san had known the truth. <laughs> I guess your patriarch was playing everyone and didn't stop to wonder if he was getting played. Still, I ought to be grateful Masumi Arakawa turned out to be a spy. He finally gave me my chance. A chance to climb my way to the top. I can't say I ever had that in my boxing days, no matter how many guys I took out. <laughs> Thank him for me in the afterlife. Tendo. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I remember that day. I was watching him struggle to breathe with the hole I put in his chest. Took a minute, but I got to look straight into his eyes as he left this world. Wanna know the last thing Arakawa saw before he bled out on the street? It was me, sending him off with a wink and a smile. My parting gift to him was showing him that in the end, there's no such thing as loyalty. Shut your fucking mouth. Piece of shit! I 
I'm shit. What's that make you being so bland born and dumpster raised, huh, Ichiban Kasuga? Well, I gotta hand it to you. You must have had a pair of brass balls to make it this far. Such a shame. I'm gonna have to string you up by him. You were never gonna climb up here and make it out alive. You think you're a hero? After all that work, your level ain't shit compared to mine. It is here! Yeah. Get to die just yet, Tendo. Before you go, I'm gonna make you feel just how strong my loyalty to Arakawa is. Kasuga. These are my principles. They are the reason I founded Bleach Japan 20 years ago, and I'm proud to say they are the same today. <laughs> what is it? Party Chair, do you have any comments about this report? It says you're wanted for murder. It's a mistake, obviously. Some absurd claim by people who have a political agenda against me. Everyone, please remain in your seats as we look into this allegation. You're trending, sir. The buzz on social media is that Rio Aoki isn't even your real name. Is that true? They're saying your real name is Masato Arakawa. In Yokohama the other day, a gang leader named Masumi Arakawa was killed. Could it be that he was your father? You can't just walk away! Face the public and explain! I saw it on your face! You recognize the name Masato Arakawa! Party chair! Is Ryo Aoki your true name? So it was just a bluff. <laughs> I knew it would be. <laughs> so, we done here or not? No. Not yet. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijincho. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. Well, how'd you like my performance? I could have won an award for that one, Kasuga. Right. Maybe I should go do some auditions. <laughs> so, what'd you think? Ichiba, how, how... How did you... Young master, you know me. I hate dying. <laughs> Tendo. Should have checked your blind spot, Aoki Sensei. You hired me. And then you made the mistake of treating me like I was some kind of disposable peon. Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about? There are 
two? Tendos. I'm impressed. Mirror Face really is the perfect name for you, man. Mirror? Face? That's what they call me. I can make myself look like anybody I want to. <sighs> wow. This is gonna make one hell of a headline. Tokyo governor orders Yakuza to murder political rival Ichiban Kasuga and his supporters. Scoop of the year. I got the whole thing on video. Should I go ahead and post it online? Where at? No! Stop Enough. it! Enough! This is as far as you go, young master. It's time. Ichiban! Did you really plan all this? Your dumbass? I was bluffing when I told you about the tape recording. That was just to lure out Tendo. But I've known you for years. I was pretty sure you wouldn't be satisfied. Not until you saw the results for yourself. You think you can predict what I'm going to do next. But in the end, I know you better than you know me. You shut your damn mouth. Young master. I had to do this. It was the only way I could stop you. It's sad. And I know it hurts. But I don't think you even know how to stop yourself. What? You only became the governor and a person of influence so that you could get back at an old girlfriend and the police commissioner. But what did you really even get out of that? Now you've pushed everyone who was important to you away. You were blinded by having more power than you knew what to do with. What happened to you? You don't even realize what you've lost. You really thought the only solution was to keep killing anyone who threatened your power in even the smallest way? How could you be that stupid? Why the fuck would you want that kind of life? <sighs> you don't know shit about me. But I'm right, aren't I? Just admit it. Even if you are, I just need to keep moving forward. And after tonight, no one can stop me. No. I'll stop you. No matter what. Men! Kill them all! Leave no one alive! <laughs> You don't get to do this to me! You fuck! It's over. Young master. Stop it. Now's my chance. I can finally put this nation on the right path. I can use my power. I've seen the light. And then... And then... And then what? What's that have to do with anything? And then I can... Make Japan... So much more beautiful. I could... I could do that. That's... That's what the masses want. They want... Peace and prosperity. And I can give it to them. But the reality is, you just do whatever you want and make other people clean up after you. What? No matter who you claim to be now, if anyone disagrees with you, even a little, you toss them aside like they mean nothing. 
I already know you're just gonna keep using the state of Japan as an excuse to kill the people around you. Just like you did with your father! If I hadn't done anything, you would have killed Captain Sawashiro. Even after he served you for more than 20 years! There are two... types of people in this world. Those who use, and those who get used. In other words, people who can make a difference. And people who are just tools in their hands. Like your father. He was just one of many tools. Useful while it lasted. I didn't need him anymore. So what you're saying is that it's fine for certain people to be sacrificed once they've outgrown their use to you? <laughs> Are you finally getting the picture? Like hell I am! You and me, we're like light and shadow, born on the same day. You're the light. Harakawa's heir and legitimate son who was always given everything I ever wanted. <sighs> You had all of that from birth. What the hell happened? What changed you? Why'd you turn out like this? This is the police. Nobody move a muscle. Kasuga, these aren't just beat cops. They probably report directly to the Commissioner. Sir, what's going on here? Why don't you start over from scratch? Come on. That's exactly what you need to do. I know you can crawl back up if you just put in the work. I believe in you. I swear I'll stand by your side the whole time. Just like the old days, for as long as it takes. We can do it, together. It'd be an honor. You know something? Back when I first joined the family, I promised Arakawa-san that I'd always be there to support you. As you already know, Tendo tried to use a bomb to kill us back in Ijincho. He did all that under the orders of Ryo Aoki. We have video evidence of Aoki's reaction when he found out we were still alive. See for yourself. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijincho. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another close shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. This video is already making its rounds on the internet. The Citizens Liberal Party must have more enemies than they think they do, because it's going viral even as we speak. I think it's fair to say we'll need to consult with the Commissioner on this one. Things aren't looking good for you, Mr. Governor. We'll need to take you into custody. Why don't you come with us to the precinct? You master! 
Stay back. Take one step, and I blow his fucking brains out. Your master, don't do this. You want me to give up everything I've built because of some stupid thing Arakawa told you 20 years ago? All this patriarch and old bullshit. I've always hated how you Yakuza act like you're one big happy family. You go on about duty and honor, and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it! Put the gun down, young master, please. If you take a police officer hostage, they're going to kill you, no matter who you are. I... I don't want to see any more of my family die. Family? <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not your fucking family. No matter what you say, I'll always consider you part of my family. You were the first friend I ever had in my whole life! I wish I could have stopped you. I should have stopped you from losing control. But I didn't. And now we've both lost Arakawa-san forever. So please, don't do this. I couldn't take losing you too. You can still come back! I'm begging you. You just like him. <sighs> Every single damn thing that comes out of your mouth just reminds me of my fucking father. Which is exactly why I never liked you in the first place. <laughs> I told you. I've known you for 20 odd years. I figured you'd come here. Call it a hunch. I thought maybe some of my words managed to get through to you. Maybe you actually did decide to start over from the bottom and work your way back up. I figured if you did, You'd come back to where Arakawa-san first found you. Where our stories began. You don't have any idea what I'm going through. I'm tired of your shit, Ichiban. All we're doing here is having a conversation. So come on. The gun's really not necessary. 
Why don't you stop pointing that thing and give it to me? who broke my heart and betrayed me on that New Year's Eve 18 years ago. That night changed our lives forever. Oh. She ended up marrying Oinuchi, you know? Before I became governor, I attended a celebration of his appointment to police commissioner. She was there. She didn't recognize me. Everything about me was so different. Do you know what she said to me? You won't believe it. Oh my, you're so sophisticated and intelligent for a man your age. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. That damn woman. She was so scared of me. And she calls me a gentleman? What kind of bullshit is that? I swear you couldn't make this shit up! Hilarious, don't you think? That's okay. In the end, that's all it amounted to. The power I changed my name for, changed my body for, the power I chased with such blind passion, I killed for it. I started off in life with a weak, ugly body that embarrassed me. I worked hard to improve myself. But after all that, I still wasn't happy because no one appreciated who I really was on the inside. That's not true, young master. The boss, I mean, arakawa san and Captain Sawashiro both cared about you. They always put you first in everything they did. Same for me. After I got out of prison, the first time I saw you was in a picture. I knew it was you right away. There was no mistaking it. I'd recognize your face anywhere. Because I care about you, too! <laughs> Are you lecturing me again about how important family is? No! It's not a lecture! Did you ever stop to think why Arakawa-san, Captain Sawashiro, and I never gave up on you? No matter how much bad shit you dragged us into! Let me tell you... It wasn't easy! But we did it anyway, because we're all connected, deep inside our hearts. You see things in black and white, but family's not that simple. No one appreciated you for who you are? Bullshit! We were always there for you. We would have done anything for you, gone to hell and back. All you had to do was ask! When will you believe me when I say the three of us loved you? Or are you just gonna keep pointing that gun on your head like a dumbass? Ichi. This may not be what you want to hear, but you know, I consider you my brother, man. That means something to me. Don't make me watch my brother die. Please. I can't do it. Asato. I'm 
Yes, Aoki-san. I put my faith in you. I believed your words. I thought you would lead us down a noble path, bleached pure and clean. <laughs> but it's not too late. True righteousness will triumph. Glad you decided to show up, Horinouchi-san. Of course. You must be him. The man who sent me that anonymous tip. As I recall, you're Kanagawa police. The name's Adachi. I was at the driver's license center, but I was dishonorably discharged just before I hit retirement. Hmm. Hey, you know, this didn't happen too long ago. Don't tell me you don't remember me. Your point? I'm a very busy man, you know. Don't waste my time, please. Look, you said there was a crime the Tokyo Omi Alliance had gone unpunished for. Can we get to that? <sighs> I, uh, found some pretty explosive evidence at the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. I'm not sure if you know this, but... Supposedly, there was an audio recording somewhere in the office that would implicate Governor Aoki in Masumi Arakawa's murder. But that was just a bluff by Ichiban Kasuga and his accomplices. It was bait to lure out Tendo and the governor. A trap to record Aoki admitting to his crimes. I knew you'd have a good grasp of it. Oh, 
You brought company. These guys your subordinates? I'm the police commissioner. Every officer is my subordinate. <laughs> Fair enough. What's that? The recording might have been a hoax. But when Tendo and the Omi searched the family office, they found... something else that was very interesting. Simply put, it's a list of shady characters who are on the Arakawa family payroll. Is it? Apparently, not long after the Kamrocho 3K plan started, Masumi Arakawa transferred a total of 300 million yen to various officials in public roles. Shame he was killed the other day, huh? You know, I think he could have explained in detail what all these obvious bribes were about. But at least we have this list here which shows exactly into whose hands each yen landed. That's right. The whole list is here. It was all on Captain Sawashiro's computer. Great news for us, don't you think? <clears throat> What's up? Oh, you're looking kind of pale, Commissioner. Is something wrong? Masumi Arakawa's 300 mil took crazy complicated routes through a bunch of foreign bank accounts. Eventually found its way to you and other high-ranking officers. I know it was all in exchange for turning a blind eye toward the Omi Alliance activities in Kamrocho. But for real, I gotta hand it to Arakawa for hiding the flow of this money so well, but lucky for us, this list makes it pretty clear. So, all we need is some supporting evidence. And then the arrests from this little guy are gonna knock out dozens of top officials, including you, police commissioner. Arrest this man! Confiscate whatever you find on him! What's wrong? Those are my orders! Struggle all you want. It's too late now. You moron. I already sent this to the Inspector General at Police HQ. That's right. Toss the same thing over to the media, so your time's running out. Tick-tock, Commissioner. You're bluffing. This whole scheme wouldn't benefit you at all. You'd be just as poor afterward as you are now. No, this isn't a bluff, unfortunately for you. It's a victory for me. Commissioner, the Inspector General is eager to have a word with you. What? I'm sure you didn't take the money purely for personal gain. You had a duty to protect the peace in Kamrocho. After the Tojo clan disappeared, you had no choice but to allow the Omi to take over and stabilize the area. In that sense, you might have even felt you were justified in taking the bribe because of the position you were in. I feel for you. You were caught between a rock and a hard place, weren't you? But, on the other hand, sir... What? What a coincidence that doing the right thing for the city also happened to line your own pockets. How much was it exactly? One mil? Ten mil? Even more? Well, I'm sure we'll find out once we analyze the data. You handed out bribe money to avoid taking responsibility for the city's crime rate. Plus, you even got to skim some for yourself. People who have so much always want more. <clears throat> Why don't you just admit you did it to save your own damn skin? Just like the old days, eh, Horinouchi? Bastard. You know, I've been waiting for years to see exactly that look on your face. This is a trap! A conspiracy! I won't stand for it! Let go of me! I order you to let go of me! Oh yeah! Mind if I ask you one more thing? Do you remember New Year's Eve 18 years ago? There was this rude Yakuza who cock-blocked you from your own wife at a hostess club in Kamrocho. What did you say? <sighs> Never mind.
Ichiban. Joe Sawashiro received his sentence. He got life in prison. Yeah. In fact, I was just telling the boss all about how everything shook out. It's just tragic. Masato Arakawa died without ever knowing Sawashiro was his father. And Masami Arakawa died without ever knowing what happened at the lockers that night. And that you were his real son. A DNA test? Yeah. Why not? It's the only way to prove once and for all if Arakawa really was your dad. Don't you want to know for sure? Otherwise, you're gonna have doubts for the rest of your life. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd want to know. Not me, man. The way I see it, I have two dads. Huh? My fathers are Jiro Kasuga, owner of Shangri-La, and Masumi Arakawa. It doesn't matter which one I'm related to by blood. Nothing can change the fact that they both raised me and made me who I am today. I don't need a test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something, man. Huh? There you are. What are you guys doing in here? The services are starting. Let's go say goodbye to the Arakawas. All right, let's go. Kasuga, good to see you. Likewise. I heard about what you've been up to. You started a security company in Sotenbori. Yeah, that's right. We had to do something for all the guys who had their rugs swept out from under them. Their yak is in the wind. I saw it all coming, so I wanted to give them somewhere to go. Originally, arakawa san was supposed to help us put the whole plan in motion. Yeah. I heard something about that. Well, what's your next move, Kasuga? You with us? Yeah, sounds like your dad had some unfinished business. Why don't you come to Osaka and wrap this up for him? <laughs> I think hell just froze over. The mad dog of Shimano is giving perfectly reasonable advice. Don't get used to it. Today's an exception. Tomorrow it's back to balls out. <sighs> I appreciate the invitation. But I can't. Eugene Cho is my home. Looking back on it, in Kamrocho I was drifting all by myself. But here in this town, I found my people, and nothing can replace them. You see, I owe them, and I need to pay them all back for what they did for me. Eugene Cho and Sotenbori should be places where people can go when they're lost. Safe havens when there's nowhere left to turn. So you see, <laughs> I can take care of the boss's unfinished business right where I am now. That's my plan anyway. I get it. <laughs> Makes sense to me.
boss. Young master. guys doing here? Well, Namba here was all worried about you. He thought the ex-Tojo guys might be looking to snatch you up, Kasuga-kun. Hey, I said to keep that shit on the down low. So? What'd you say to those old thugs? You gonna leave town and forget all about us little guys? Uh, Zachan, how about you tell him? I can't say all that mushy shit again while I'm sober. Well... <laughs> wow, I didn't think he loved us that much. Did he say it just like that? How cute. Sounds like the Kasuga-san I know. Finally. <laughs> I've gotten to a point in my life where I can't be replaced. What an honor. Hey, <laughs> as long as I'm in there, he's got good taste. <laughs> Once you're at rock bottom, the only place to go is up. There's no shame in being at the bottom. All that matters is how you decide to climb back out of the darkness. There's always a ray of hope up there. I was lucky to learn that from you, young master.